In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the node called VSTI successfully with Sonar. I'm going to start by creating a new project which creates a 16 track MIDI project. Like so. The first thing we need to do is to create a new audio track which we're going to use to hold the node called VSTI which we do like so. And we're going to attach the node core VSTI like so and we're going to open up a node core piece to play and we can now hide the node core plugin for the moment now next thing we need to do is select views synth rack and right click, right click on this area over here and select the enable MIDI output checkbox I'll just right click on it again to prove to you that that was set which it was we can now hide this. Next thing we need to do is to add one audio track for each software synthesizer we wish to use. So I'll attach three of these, one for each of the interesting MIDI channels in Notical in this particular demo. And for each one, I'm going to add a new software synthesizer instance. Which will give it a particular sound. Go to the next one. Add a new software synthesizer, which I'll have to make the same sort just for convenience in my demo. Select another preset. And now for the third uh, audio track, which I wish to add a software synthesizer. Add another software synthesizer instance. And again, give that a different sound. I can now hide these for the moment just to save some screen space. Now, next thing we need to do is for each of our uh, three MIDI channels of interest, we need to set up the appropriate MIDI track to listen out for incoming MIDI data from the Notical plugin. And we need to set the input echo on for each of these tracks. This will only work properly if I've set up a global option properly first in Sonar, which I'll do now. So, options, global, and in general, you need to make sure that. The always echo current MIDI track uh, checkbox is not set, so I've made sure it's not set here. Okay, okay. I now need to run through each of the MIDI tracks that I'm interested in and set the MIDI input echo state like I'm showing you here. I'm actually going to do this for all 16 tracks, even though I'm only going to be listening out to three of them in my demo. This is very quick to do. Right, we're almost ready to get Notical playing now. We've got to do one more thing though, and that is for each of the MIDI channels in which we're interested, set up the MIDI input. So for each of the MIDI tracks we're interested in, set the MIDI input channel to come from the appropriate Notical MIDI channel, like I'm doing here. And also set each one to play through the appropriate software synthesizer instance. So, set each of these first three MIDI tracks, let's note the appropriate Notical channel and play through the appropriate software synthesizer instance. Here we go. MIDI channel 3. Now, a little tip is that unless you want to hear everything playing through everything, uh, make sure that you set the MIDI channels you're not interested in to either not listen out for anything or to just be turned off like I'm showing you here. Otherwise, you may, might get some unwanted noises coming out of your system. Okay, we're almost done now. And just for speed, I'll just turn these off. Right, I think we're now ready to hear Notical playing. So we'll pull up our software synthesizers so we can see them in action whilst we're playing. And watch what happens when I press play now. I actually hear no audio output. That's because there's a trick with Sonar where you have to have at least some MIDI data present in your piece for it to be able to get everything running properly. So I'm going to choose a track at random. Let's try track four. I'm going to view the 
camera view and I'm going to activate it by putting in some dummy event data like I'm doing here. Just take an arbitrary dummy controller and just draw in any old rubbish. And that will get so I'm not playing properly. Now, if I go back to play, and again I'll put myself a synthesizers. Oop, wrong one. Don't need to see those at the moment. There we go. Let's get our synthesizers laid out so I can make sense of them. And now if we start the piece playing, we'll actually hear output. And now I can play with my sounds. Nice, isn't it? It's very easy to do once you know how, and that's all there is to getting the notable VSTI working successfully with Sonar. Hope you enjoyed the demo.